I don't know, man. I, I don't know. The headlines were a depressing read. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. The whole building was rigged with explosives. A beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of the manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Right? Right. Someone had left a letter on the counter. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. 
Incognito was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After our hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. There was a key on the shelf. The bombs had destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. 